so in this first class lecture i am going to show you how to configure a vista c panel smtp server with exim and bind your additional ip with the bps server so so, so that you can configure a cell hosted SMTP server inside a Contabo after the, the training. So, and in the next class, I will show you how to configure mail with Gmail sender. So, let's get started. First of all, let's log into our Contabo VPS server. Just copy the password, Contabo, paste. So this is the take the paste control. Let's check our IP. In MS toolbox, so you can check our IP blacklisted or not. So it's blacklisted in one network, that doesn't matter. It's always get blacklisted in one network. So we can start. So let okay, me sir. reinstall. You already configured, you already selected Ubuntu 20.04, but what is the password? What is the BPS server password? I have um, forgotten the password. Just generate or oh, um, let me reset the password. Uh, yeah, change change the password here. Yeah, just change the password. Yeah, reset it. Thank you. Am I reset or you already know the password? I don't. I, I don't know. Just generate. Okay, let me reset and also log into the system chip. So this is your domain name, right? Yeah. So first of all, we need to log into the BPS server and also need to log into the domain. Before work, search your domain, click manage. Then click Advanced DNS. Have you website inside this domain? So no problem. Let me open the script. Installation script. Let me give my own working script. Then you send me this uh, installation scripts, right? Yes. So, um, so please, uh, my friend told me you um, it's not possible to install Power MTA. Um, that Power MTA needs a uh, a valid license from Spark Boost. Is it true? Actually, many people. 
use crack license actually i have power mta and i set up power mta 2 and i charge extra for the power mta smtp configuration tutorial so between uh, yeah, power this is, MTA this is the and power mta file and license common with the script See, this is okay. power MT file, then this is the license key. This is the power MT file. Then this is EMT. This is the license key. This is the license file. Okay, sir. Um, this license, how long? Do, do, does it last? Because I'm, I'm hearing some people say it's um, one month, some people say it's one year, some people say there's this is lifetime, version. lifetime because it's a null version, cracked version of the power MT. You can use this power MT for lifetime. So, so, uh, between this power MT and uh, this Vista C panel, which one would you advise I go for? Because I need something that is going to be very simpler and good. Uh, it's power, like MTA, the power MTA and C panel based MTA, there is yeah. much different. If you use C panel based MTA, then your mail deliverability speed will be slow. And if you use a raw pure MTA like power MTA or postal, then your mail sending speed will be fast. But okay. overall, Exim C panel based SMTP overall not bad. Good. So, if you want to send bulk email, if you want to send bulk email, and if you want to learn Power MT SMTP server with IP rotation, no problem. I have also this training package. So hold on, let me open the command. So first of all, download the Bitbuys. I already downloaded mm -hmm. this Bitbuys. You have Bitbuys? Yes, 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 I have Bitbuys. So we can ignore this step. then add all the dns a record so we need to add a in this step one we need to add a dns record right click domain then click dns then it seems all the sense, please it seems you used this domain for sending email previously Anyhow, okay, so no. So just copy this domain and let's add a add click add record and we will add a name record. Click A and like SMTP or panel. Okay. Panel host name as panel and IP address. We can put our contact IP address. This is our contact IP address. Just put our contact IP address, and this this will be your SMTP host name. Panel okay. dot panel dot your domain. This will be your SMTP host name. Okay. You can use any prefix here. You can use SMTP or host. Okay. For example. Or just use mail mail. So after adding a DNS, we need to add a reverse DNS inside the contabo. Go to reverse DNS. Then select your IP. 16.
I think you already using this Contabo BP server for sending email because they, you already added a PTI record. You dev, maybe you had had a developer. No, 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 no. I I was watching your videos on YouTube, so I was doing uh, some things that you were doing. You reverse DNS and all that. So I just discovered that I won't be able to do this on my own. I so this I just stopped somewhere. Okay, so no problem. So add a host dot. Okay, so save. So we added reverse DNS now. Let's check our additional IP address. This is your additional IP, right? For additional IP, this is your additional IP. For additional IP, we can add another DNS. Click add record. Then select type A, then face the value. And for additional IP, we can use S1. If you have multiple additional IP, then for third one, select S2. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Thank just, you. Just continuously repeat this step. Okay. So click save changes so copy this domain then go to reverse dns again and click record s1 dot your domain because for this ip we added s1 prefix right For the IPv6, normally we don't work with IPv6 with Exim. So for IPv6, it is not mandatory. So okay. It's not important. So we added DNS, and now we need to bind our additional IP with the BPS server. This is our additional web IP. Let's ping mm -hmm. our additional IP. Ping, click space, hit enter. So our additional IP is not active. That means we cannot send email using additional IP because our additional IP is not active. So we need to bind our additional IP. Okay. Okay. So see, if we ping our additional IP, then packet send four receive zero lost four. Moreover, if we try to log into You can check your email address. You can check your email address for BP server password. It wasn't sent to me. Just generate a new one and don't send to email and confirm, please. Okay. For example, I'm using. Generate a new one here. Okay.
So it will take some time for the yeah. password reset. So okay. It taking long time to resetting the password. Uh, I think just refresh the contable page. Okay, let's ping our IP to check. Ping. This is our main defense IP. Let's ping. So if we ping our defense IP, that means send for receive for our BPS server IP is active, but our additional IP is not active, right? So we need to bind our yeah. additional IP with the BPS server. So for let me show you how to bind additional IP with the BPS server. The process is same. First of all, we need to log into our BPS server via Bitbuys using our BPS IP and password. This is our BPS server IP. And put the password, username as root and put the password. This is the BPS server password. Then click login. Accept and save. So click new SFTP window. Just go to this link. Go 
to this directory copy click new sftp terminal paste the directory hit enter And select this file just open select the notepad and this is the additional like this is the IP address right mm. so just duplicate this copy and paste so what is our additional IP address so this is our additional IP address copy and replace it so if you have multiple additional IP just repeat this step just duplicate this value and replace with your additional IP okay then click okay. control plus s Click save the file so that after so that file will be saved. Now we need to restart our network for restarting our network. Just did. Now give this command net plane apply. So if we Now if we ping our additional IP, we can see that IP is transferring data, right? Yeah. See? That means we can log into our BPS server. We can log into our BPS server using additional IP too. Right? If I use additional IP here, we can log in. No problem. Okay. So let's add the host name. After binding the additional IP, go to command. We added the reverse. Now we need to add the reverse DNS. We already did this reverse DNS work, right? Yeah. Now add in the step four. We need to add the host name. Okay. So go to this okay. directory. Scroll down and look for this file as host name. Open, select the notepad, okay, and host name is host dot our domain name. What is our domain name? What is our domain name? This is our main BPS IP host name DNS, right? Host dot. See, this is our main BPS IP DNS. So that's why it should be as host name. Okay. okay. And remember, when you write the host name, you don't keep any space after this name. Copy.
So in the step five, we need to add the SPF record, right? Yeah. For adding SPF record, let me edit this SPF record for IP4. Just edit this. Copy. Paste. Paste. Copy. And for SPF record, our DNS type will be always text record. So Select type as text and paste the value and hostname will be at the rate. So if I if I have <coughs> sorry. If, if I have five you I already have a SPF record for this domain. This is the SPF record. If if you already have a existing SPF record, then just copy deletes. Deletes, no, 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 that is, that is from Rackspace SMTP portal. I was trying to create a Rackspace. Delete all these records, please. No, I do If you use another email server, no problem. I can mix this record with this SPF record. So let me show you how to add this. Just copy this include part, okay? Yeah. Control X and add this here. Okay. So remember keep so, space. So keep space after the one value. Keep space and see I already keep a space. So click save. I was asking and delete this. I hear me. And delete this. So Yes. I have a question, sir. I have a question. Ask question. If I have um, five additional IPs, so I'm just going to add it the way you added this one, IPv4, the first IP, IPv4, yes. the second IP, like that. So yeah, five. just repeat this. Just IPv4, IPv4, IPv4. Just keep space and IPv4. Keep space and add IP there. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, so if you have, so see how, how our value will be look like. See, I keep a space and this is your rack space email account. I added this part. Okay, just include okay. this part. Okay. Okay, so. So we added. Ah. I already deleted the password of the BPS server. Um, no, no, you did not check the second. Uh, okay, no um, problem. Undo. No problem. Undo. You can stop the video. You can push the video and check the password, or you can reset the password. I already logged into the server, so that's why I don't need the password right now. So. Go to file. All right, sir. So let's continue. So DKIM, so in the DKIM part, we are now in this step. We add DKIM after Vista cPanel install. Okay. So just Vista cPanel install process, just copy this line. And after adding the host name, after adding the host name, we need to reboot our BP server. Remember, REB double OT reboot.
Hello, sir. So, after reboot check the hostname. Okay. So, our hostname is okay. This is, this is our hostname. Right. So, let me install Vista cPanel, go to command. Then copy. And paste. Enter. And write this command copy select y enter admin email address you can put your admin email address like admin admin at the rate your domain Enter. Hit enter. Enter. So it will take some time to install the Vista C panel completely. And inside this Vista C panel, we can set up email sender software mail list too. So I can stop the video right now. Continue recording. Yeah, good. You, we are staying in this step. Okay. Okay. So it will take some time for the install. I can stop the recording. How many mails can I send from this Vista uh, panel daily? You can ask such question later. You can ask such question okay, later sir. at the end of the training i will tell you that what question you have so just give focus on training copy okay, this sir. so after the installation of the vista just copy these login details and paste inside the notepad and save the file notepad And just clear all the script by, give, give, by giving this command C L E E R clear hit enter. So go to command and we can now we need to install a SSL certificate for the Vista C panel. Just copy this line and paste and hit enter then hostname just change your hostname hostname copy and change your hostname just copy this line copy and paste hit enter dollar sign host copy Close the window not entry
to command. Just copy this command. This is just copy paste job. Just follow this video and I will give you the script, command script so that you can use Copy and paste, hit enter. So let's visit to our Vista C panel. Now we can visit. So we install a SSL certificate. See, connection is secure. Certificate is valid for this. Okay. Put the username admin and is there? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, just watch. Click login. So then click web. Just copy our domain name and click add web domain, paste the web domain, then click add. Then click DNS. So we need to add the DNS record, DKM record. Click list 14 record. Just scroll down and click edit. Just copy this DNS record and go to DNS, then click add new record. Then click text. Select the text and paste the value and host name. Just go to Vista C panel and this is the host name copy and paste, click save all changes. So we added the cam record. Now we need to add MX record for the domain for receiving email. So just delete this MX record. And select A and name. For MX record value, just copy this value, go to DNS, then paste, and priority will be 10 because inside the Vista C, C, C panel it is 10, priority 10. So this is the value part, right? This is the value part, but inside the value mail, inside this domain, we don't have any A record. So how you receive the email, you, you will not receive the email. So we, you need to put a record. So just copy this record. Understand what I telling? mail dot you domain dot com so mail dot it is empty value right you there yes sir yes sir mail dot domain dot com so it is a empty value right actually yeah. we did not assign any ip for this value right for this mx record value we did not assign any a record right yes sir so we need to assign a record we need to assign ip for this record for receiving email to this record right so just yes sir. go to dns then click add new record and select type a and host name will be mail and paste the ip bps ip so this is our DPS IP and paste and save all changes. 
So we added SPF record, then we added DCAM record, we added MX record. Now we need to add a DMARC record. For adding DMARC record, just copy this. Go to domain, then click add new record. Then select text and paste the value and hostname will be underscore DMARC. And save all changes. So we are ready to send our first email. So go to domain, go to mail, then click add account, then write sales password, generate password, copy the email and password inside the notepad. Okay, and Save. Open webmail round tube mailbox. We can also use HTTPS protocol HTTPS because we already installed a SSL certificate for the panel. So log in to our round cube mailbox using this panel. Just Copy the username. Actually, we binded our additional IP, but our mail will be delivered from single IP. We need to do some extra work here. Okay, yes, sir. I will show you how to add IP rotation. How to add IP rotation inside the Vista C panel. I'll show you how to add IP rotation. Don't worry about this. Now click compose. Now go to mail tester and send a test email. Copy this address and send a test email. Subject line like test email. If we tell me. If I send a test email from which IP email will be delivered? BPS server from BPS server IP or from our additional IP? You there? You there? You there? So let's send a test email and check which IP we use it to send email. I think we will use um. It's going to be sent with the um the main vps server ip because we've not uh, configured the uh, other additional ips with this visa panel yet okay so let's check our main tester report so uh, everything is okay we can send email and we got 10 out of 10 See, this is, so this is our IP. We test email or deliver from our BPS server IP, but our additional IP did not send any email, right? Y yes, sir. But we got 10 out of 10, like see, from email address. This is the from email address. And mm. this is the SPF record. Yeah, this is the SPF record is okay, and D DCAM record is okay, DMARC record is okay, MX record, reverse DNS is okay. So see here, yeah, this is the RDNS record, and hello, reverse DNS is okay, and MX record is also okay, fine, and our hostname record is also okay, and you are not blacklisted, so let's let me show you how to bind our additional ip with the exim smtp server 
so clear clear service exim status status service exim four okay for checking our exim smtp server status just write this command service serbic service space exi m4 space status okay it enter so our exim smtp server is running active that means our smtp is okay to send email but we did not bind our additional IP with the Exim SMTP server. Let me show you how to bind additional IP with the Exim SMTP server. So log into our BPS server, then go to new SFTP window, then go to this directory etc slash exim4 hit enter, then open, then create a file. Create file exim.pl hit enter then open this file then go to command i will send you this file to exim4 open so just copy this command and paste inside the exim.pl file and change the value for example we have just we have only two ip that's why we can delete this just delete also colon and change the ip here we can put our bps server ip here for checking our bps server ip This is our BPS server IP, just copy and paste and write the host name here. Host name is host dot. What is for checking the host name? Write this command host name, hit enter, copy. So it will be S1, right? S1 dot for additional IP or domain. Clear? Click save, save the file, file save. Now we need to restart our Exim SMTP server. Before restarting our Exim SMTP server, we need to bind Exim.pl file with Exim.configuration file. Just open the Exim.configuration template, then add this line. Open. Just copy this line. Paste. So see, this line we added, this new line we added inside the exim dot exim four dot configuration file. Clear. This is the new line we added pal underscore startup is equal to do. Okay. You there? Just scroll down. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Just watch the video so that you can understand everything. Just scroll down, then under the SMTP server configuration transport configuration. 
just hit space then add a new line just copy this two line code and paste to your exim configuration file then save the file file save now we need to stop service exim for stop now we need to stop our exim smtp server so write this command service exim for stop then again write this command service exim for start exim for start hit enter so let's send a test email to the mail tester and see which ip is used to okay mail tester now tell me if i send another test email which ip will be used to send test email i think it's uh it's going to it will be rotated it will be rotated it will be rotated because we added two ip here see we added two see inside the exim.pl file we added inside this variable my at the Red. I need inside this variable we added two IP here, right? So it will be rotated continuously when you send email. So uh, if you send like um, five emails, it's going to um, randomize the IPs. Yes, it will be rotated. Yes, yes, it is good. Most of the company. All of the company rotate IP when you send email because you can test it. If you send, if you use Mailchimp or G Suite, if you send test email inside the mail tester, you can see their IP is rotating. So click compose, then paste and subject line like test email, paste mail C, click send. Then check your score and see this time same IP, right? Let's send another test email. Copy, compose. This time six. Give me your mail tester link for sending test email address. Actually, our IP is rotating.
so we can stop the recording and in the next video i will show you how to install a mailwitch and connect this smtp server with mailwitch email center okay you there yes i'm here if you if you if you still have confused if you have confused let me delete this one i this ip okay am i delete this ip let me delete this ip and save control s and let me stop and restart the server servic service exim for stop service exim for sta art start hit enter so let me send another test email click compose give me your mail tester email address go to your mail go to mail tester website mail tester allow only three email test for the for free plan we already send three test email inside the mail tester so you can send your mail tester email address you there Let me send a testimony to my email address. See, your test email landed in inbox. You there? You there, brother? You there? Yes, bro. I'm here. I'm here, bro. So why are you not talking and why are you not responding? I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching, bro. So why are you not responding? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. So I stop the recording right now and see this email or delivered from our additional IP and our email landed in inbox inside the primary folder. So this is the test email. Okay. Okay. And this is the from email address. So I can stop the recording and inside the and in the next class, I will show you how to set up a mail with email sender software inside the mail with and if you want to do power MTA course, then I will give you the price with, okay. What is the price? So it's not going to be too expensive, sir. Yes, it is little bit expensive because power MTA is expensive software. It's an enterprise business license software and this course will be definitely expensive. And it's, it is more powerful rather than Exim SMPV server. And you know okay, that so you know what? you know about my skills. Many people don't know how to add IP rotation inside the Exim SMTP server. But I will show. I just recorded the video and show you how to add IP rotation inside the Exim SMTP server. And you, you mail or deliver from the additional IP. See, just check the header of this mail. Show original. 
so this is see this malware delivered from this IP SPF pass okay this is the your malware delivered from the additional IP and let me add our BPS server IP to inside the exim dot panel okay I, I just deleted this and let me add this value again Those IPs are the same, sir. No, not. Yeah, I changing this. I changing. So, uh, how, how many emails can I send from this server daily? Okay, that is going so, to land to inbox. Yes, click save, and let me restart the server. Service exim for stop service exim for start it enter service exim status it enter service exim for so let me stop the video and send you the